Howdy and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to introduce inclusion polymorphism. We'll get into what the term polymorphism means, but we've kind of seen it um, already. We've seen ad hoc polymorphism, which was function overloading. We've seen um, parametric polymorphism, which uh, is kind of the generics through templates. And now we're going to get into inclusion polymorphism, which we'll see is associated with inheritance. So a little bit of a lesson uh, outline. We're going to first talk about name hiding and we've talked about this briefly uh, in the previous lesson. And, and it was that idea of, okay, I have a, uh, it might, I kind of have a nested scope structure when I'm dealing with inheritance. The derived class is kind of a inner scope. And then the base class can be thought of as the outer scope. And we talked a little bit about some of the implications of that um, in the, uh, inheritance lesson, and we'll go ahead and expand upon that here. We're then going to get into function overriding, not to be confused with function overloading. And we'll also introduce this idea of virtual functions, which provide um, us the ability to implement function overriding. We're then going to get into polymorphic behavior. I'll go ahead and provide a definition of uh, what polymorphism means and talk about uh, kind of uh, how it can be useful to us. We'll then introduce a concept of abstract base classes, and we'll uh, talk about how they can be implemented through pure virtual functions. We'll then get into this idea that uh, when we're dealing with an inheritance scheme that virtual destructors can be beneficial. And again, I don't expect you to understand what virtual means just yet, but hopefully by the time we get to that last video, it. Uh, the pieces are coming together and you might even think about this before we get there, but I'll, I'll introduce that importance uh, in that video. So let's uh, go ahead and get started here.